In this video, we'll take a look at the brand new symbol animations that we got from WWDC 2023. Before we jump in, smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm. Let's open up our Xcode 15 beta and let's create a new project here. We're going to stick with the app template and we're going to call this symbol animation fun. Now, I will say that this is available in both Swift UI and UI kit. I'm going to show it today in UI kit since the Swift UI variant is a little simpler syntactically, but I think it gets the picture across either way. So we'll create our project here. I'm going to jump into our view controller and get to it. So symbol animations, they are introduced alongside SF symbols five. They allow you to obviously animate a system symbol that Apple provides, and you can even transition between symbols with a really cool effect. So we'll start by pasting in some starter code here so I don't bore everyone to death by creating a UI image view. And I'll give this a build and run in a iOS 17 simulator, just like so. Alrighty, so we've already got some stuff in here clearly that I've set up. Let me get rid of this. And let's give this a run again, and then I will actually talk through what that was. Okay. So here we got a pretty cool, pretty nifty airplane image in the middle. Let's just talk through this code briefly. We've got a image view, nothing too fancy. We're setting up a default image. We're setting up a content mode. We're setting up its constraints down here and adding it as a sub view. Now let's create a delayed block. So I'll say dispatch queue main, and we want to do something after perhaps two seconds, we're going to execute this block. And let me just make this a trailing closure. And the first thing we'll look at is how do you actually set up an animation and what animations are available, frankly. So we're going to do self.myImageView. And if you just start typing an animation, you'll see there's a variety of new properties now available. There's animation duration, there's repeat count. The one that you're looking for is start animation, stop animation, remove animation, and add symbol effect. Uh, rather remove all symbol effects and add symbol effects. So we're gonna do add symbol effect, and this takes in a few arguments here. So the first one is the effect itself, and the second one is a Boolean, whether or not you want it to animate. Uh, so let's do bounce here, and you might be wondering, well, why would I not want it to animate? The premise of this is you can add the symbol effect but you can manually control when it starts and stops animating, right? So let's say you want a icon to appear, but you want to draw attention to it at a certain time. You don't have to have it be animating right from the get go and kind of be annoying, which is why this Boolean actually exists. And in Swift, it is actually a binding. So without further ado, let's take a look at this bounce animation in action and uh, there it goes. So a little slow there because it's a two second delay, but it bounced. Hopefully y'all didn't miss that. But some of these animations, unlike bounce, are uh, indefinite. So they kind of just loop. So pulse is one of the ones that just loops. So let's give pulse a shot here. And after two seconds, you'll see that it'll start pulsing. Um, and I guess, I don't know if I would call this pulsing, but it like dims and you know shows up again. I guess it's called pulsing, but there's a few animations that Apple does provide in here, which are pretty nifty. Variable color is another one for those familiar with icons that support you know variable colors being shaded in or uh, not. That is supported. Appear, bouncing, disappearing, replace. Scaling is pretty cool too. I will say this is the one that I saw that I liked a lot to particularly draw attention to, it kind of scales up and it like, you know, it draws the user's eye to it. And the last one I want to showcase here, which I really, really liked is the transition. So let's say we want this image view to transition icons. We can do self dot my image view and we can say we want to set a symbol and you'll see in here that we can set an image wants a non-optional image, it wants a transition, and there are, of course, other optional arguments in here, such as a completion block, if you wanna provide any options. So let's actually right arrow this, just so we can show some of the options in here. And we'll use the one with the options and completion handler. So the first thing we wanna provide in here is an image. The next thing is a transition, which we'll stick in automatic for. For the completion handler, what we'll do is we get a reference of the symbol completion context, which I am just going to underscore and ignore. 
And for options, if you take a look at this, this is a symbol effect option. So we can see that we have this as non-repeating or repeating, which I guess repeating would just keep transitioning between the images. I actually have not tried this one yet, so let's give this a shot. For this, we wanna pass in a UI image that is a system name image, a system icon. You'll recall that this constructor is actually optional. So if I try to build, you'll see it'll yell at me. It wants it to be non-optional. So we'll force unwrap it uh, in this example, but obviously in your actual code, please do unwrap it properly so your app doesn't crash. And what we'll actually transition to is perhaps a house icon. So let's give this a shot. Let's build and run. And we should expect in two seconds for this plane to nicely animate to a house. And beautiful, just like that, animated to a house. And that is basically a icon transition. Now, obviously it didn't repeat here. So let's jump back into this definition of the function. And let's see if it actually tells us what this, um, that option particularly does. Let's see if I can find it. So here we have options. We'll jump into this. And I believe this will be an option set. So it's, let's see, this is actually, yep, it's an option set. It has default in here and, oh, we can control speed as well. Okay, that's pretty interesting, good to know. We have other speed options, we have repeat options. So basically a whole host of options in here. I'm sure some of these might change as the betas progress, but I digress. This is one of the coolest parts of simple animations. If you've ever seen folks that animate things like a play button to a pause button, or you know maybe like a, uh, a menu icon to a X button, like a close button, these animations make it super easy to do where you don't need to bring in something like Airbnb's Lottie framework just for a really simple animation. Um, but that is all I've got for you guys today in today's video. If you are into symbols and animations, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know what else you want to see covered from dub 23 Hit that like button before clicking away. Subscribe for more content in iOS. Appreciate y'all watching. Almost at 95,000 subs. Let's keep it going and growing together. Thanks for all the support. I will see you in the next one.